I've had a lot of good days at Dead Horse Bay. This might be the best. Hey Adele, come say hi. And for anybody just joining us, that is my good friend and rival, Adele. Look at this, we got a nice cut going down the beach. My metal detector, but I'm a mudlark today. I'm a hardcore mudlark. What do you mean, okay? How many times have I beaten you lately? So last year, Nicola White came to Dead Horse Bay. We had a great time. Nicola invited us to England, and Adele shared that it was a lifelong dream for her to mudlark the Thames. Adele is semi-retired, so we fundraised for her to go to England. We're ready to go right now. This was actually the month that we were planning the trip, but the situation emerged with the foreshore permits. They are not foreshore. <laughs> so I think that uh, the solution is we wait a little bit longer and we'd have to uh, come up with an alternate site if, uh, you know, this situation isn't resolved. Yeah, I know there's other places uh, in England uh, that you can mudlark and uh, we'll figure something out. Uh, the fundraiser has happened. Uh, we're committed to going. We're going to go. Um, but we're going to give it a little bit more time and hopefully something happens. So everybody, this is Zach. He is a uh, film professor and he is doing a film on Dead Horse Bay. Well, somebody dropped their shoe. And it wasn't recent. So this was a day after a storm and uh, the sand had moved and it was really ideal conditions. Everything moved around, low amounts of sand. Look at this knucklehead running up ahead. She wants to win. She wants to beat Merrill. Ah. I, I guess uh, I should mention this. It's called Dead Horse Bay. There used to be horse rendering plants, animal rendering plants, and uh, this is an opened landfill. And most of the stuff that you will find here uh, is from uh, the mid to early 20th century, but uh, it was inhabited uh, before that. And uh, there's a chance you get stuff before, you could always get older stuff thrown out uh, from another era, uh, thrown out in a later era, like the early 1900s. And uh, we've found stuff uh, dating back uh, 200 years. So you never know what you're going to get here. It's a really a special place. It's like walking on a or in a time capsule. Call this poetic, but I just found the number one. I think that means I'm going to win today, Adele. Wow, we have a low beach, folks. Oh, this is this is good. Low Beach. I'm sure I'm gonna have to uh, edit over this because of the wind, but Low Beach. I'm not just here for coins, but um, they sure are nice when they show up. Let's see what we get today. Oh, this looks good. Okay, we are ready on the board. This is fantastic. This is an old button. Look at that shield right here. That is fantastic. Okay, what is this? That's incredible. What exactly is this? I don't know. Maybe a music award? I tell you, this has some weight to it. It needs more cleaning. Um, it's probably copper, but it just has... Uh, it's a unique look, like this part in here, but that's probably copper, just, yeah. Very cool. I have to narrate over this because of the wind, but you see heavy objects on the surface, like this garment weight, and you just see the beach obliterated. Do you see sand there? No, you just see decay, you know, decomposing stuff from a landfill that was strewn out upon a beach, and it was everywhere you had to use your eyes and you had to move stuff all right this is going to be an epic day we just got two coins right here right on the surface um not sure 
what they are, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, one is a wheat scent. I think they're both wheat scents. What is that? What is that? Hold on. Taking off my glove for this one. And the wind started blowing again, but I saw gold out of the corner of my eye. That is not solid gold. That is a watch band. I thought I found a dog tag, but no, I didn't. I will take a closer look at this, if it's anything good. Um, it's interesting, old part. All right, we got another coin and we got a gear. And this coin, it is like encrusted. So we'll have to clean this. Yeah, so it is really heavily encrusted. Most of these, uh, after you clean them, are wheat scents and they uh, look just like this. You know, they're dated from the period, but it is tough to get <laughs> that crust off. This was also a uh, mystery part that I found that day. If anybody knows what it is, please put it in the comments. If you're really lucky and the beach is low, you'll find stuff like this also. And uh, it appears to be a cap of some sort, um, but I'm not, I'm really not sure. Um, but there's something beautiful and sculptural to it. Now you're gonna see something absolutely incredible and historic. And this seriously might be one of the top five finds I have ever found in my life. Um, just the history to it and uh, my fascination with uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Wait till you see this. I think we just hit silver. We just... Oh my God. Oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, we're... Oh, this is find of the day right here. This is silver and it's foreign. Oh my God. You don't see this. Like this is the surface right here. The storm washed it away. Oh my God. This is, this is a day to be here. Oh my God. Wow. It was a relic to the Cold War and the development of the atomic bomb. That was a medallion that was given specifically to people who worked on the Manhattan Project, and there was only about 4,000 to 5,000 of them. I made a video specific to this. I'm going to link to it here. Check it out. Oh, my God. Look at this. We have... That's half a ring right there. That is half a ring, and you never know with the colors here. You never know. This was a cut ring. Oh my God, what a day. Yeah, here's a close up. Uh, I don't know, this could actually be something from machinery. Um, there's a hole in it right up here. Um, yeah, we got fireworks coming. This isn't one of the fireworks. The surface was full of objects. If you notice, I have that ring in my hand and uh, right next to it is uh, another coin. That one just happened to be a penny, but what a day. And we just picked up an iconic key. Most of the stuff you'll see at Dead Horse Bay is uh, 1940s, 1950s. That is from an old Chevrolet. I don't think it is complete. That looks like it was uh, torn up. Well, I don't know. Um, if anybody knows the make of this in about the year, um, I would estimate 1940s, 1950s. Um, that's a pretty epic find. Another coin. Look at this. And this, oh, that's a, a penny. I thought it was silver for a second. No, it is another penny. Let's go. This is small. Okay, not sure what this is. Bale seal? I don't know. Yeah, even the smallest find that you thought was insignificant turned out to be significant. That's the seal of the President of the United States. It's a military button. Look at this. This is all exposed. I've never seen it right here, all exposed. Um, I could spend a day right here, and I'm good, man. I'm good. Let's keep going. Another coin. Coins everywhere. This is a penny. Look at this. What in the world is this? What is this? 
That's awesome. Listen, just go to Ikea and you'll see that our furniture has regressed. Rust. Hemnis. Vihals. Songestand. What kind of stupid name is that? This is probably something that is just an adornment uh, to furniture. It's pretty nifty. I think the wind has been at play back here too. Right now it's wet, but uh, there was a uh, pile over there that I just saw the sand moving because the wind is so strong. All right, I got something big right here and this is probably iron. Just in case we're gonna take it. <laughs> It's circular. Let's go. Yeah, I tumbled it, cleaned it the best that I could. And when you see that reddish color in there, you know it is iron. Um, I identified it. This is a manhole cover for a mouse. Another penny. What do we have? Is that, I think this is gonna be iron. I was finding clusters well, of objects look. and uh, yeah, I was really staying in the same spot. Let's see if we could chip it away. Oh, what is this? There we go. That's not iron. Look at this. Oh, we got a big coin. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, this is a day. This is a day. Let's go. I'm going slowly with this one. I believe that it is a hard luck token. I have found similar coins before, but we're gonna have to do electrolysis on this one. Um, this could really be epic. I will keep you posted on what it is. It's definitely copper. And you just see the details peeking through. If anybody could ID that, that would be epic. Let me give you a good look up here. I see the Lord. Interesting. Look who just creeped up behind me. <laughs> this is silver. I got silver already. Yeah, what about this? Yeah, that does look like silver. Very nice. Good stuff. Mine's nicer. What? Like what? I can't show you. I'm in the middle of uh, uncovering treasure. I want like this. That's an awesome. Oh my goodness. That is an awesome thimble. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's good. Where's yours? Mine's in my bag. Oh, you're not showing it, Kelly? Not right now. Did you get a lot? No, not at all. I didn't find anything yet. You're such a liar. I know. We're on the weed again. Man, this is quite the day. Just keeps appearing. Another coin, another penny, and that's a key head. Keep the penny, why not? Here we go again. This is nickel sized. What is it? Um, a coin? It's a coin, yeah, I think it's a nickel. Yeah, so I was wrong about the last three finds. One, um, at least I think, I mean, this ended up in my bag at the end of the day. I, I knew I found a nickel. So, yeah, let's go with that first. This one is a buffalo nickel. There's the buffalo, there we go. Okay, now this, it ended up in my bag at the end of the day. And it is a Merc. So that one of the pennies, I don't know if it was that one, to tell you the truth. Um, this was the other cool thing. I see the word building over here. It's going to require more cleaning, but we got something building. And what in the world? And that's a rock that is like, <laughs> caught in there these you got to go very slow especially if it's copper um, at dead horse bay um, this is another candidate for electrolysis now, she doesn't want me to uh she wants me to dump everything out no not yet it's part of her game plan she knows i drop stuff i just got this whatever this is we'll have to clean it up this was another epic find so this is a infantry button and it's world war ii era and uh, I have, I think I have two or three of these. This would be, well, this would be number three. <laughs> um, this one is not in great condition, but you know, you don't know that until this is all cleaned up. Um, 
But yeah, epic find. This probably saw World War II. Oh, ho, ho, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got a silver ring. There we go. There we go. Oh, snap. Right on the surface. Right here. Okay. There we go. I said that three times. Who cares? Let's go. On a normal day, you let the Taco Bell song play out. But you know what? This was not a normal day. We got so much more to see. This was the ring and the top, you know, the jewel that was in there is missing. But you know what? A ring is a ring is a ring. It's made of silver. And uh, I, I think, yeah. Go and meet your friends. You know what? There's no time to even trash talk her. Let's go. She'll be back trash talking me, but I'm not going looking for her telling her I got a ring. Nope. She'll be right over here. So let's uh, stay with uh, the hot area. Here we go. Here's another coin. Let's go. This is incredible. Look at this. We just got a watch. Waterproof, shockproof. Now let's take a close look at this. Gold, that is gold. Cheers to Mr. Oppenheimer. Sushi. The wind apologizes, it was brutal that day, but uh, that was my first piece of gold for the year. It was late March at the time, and I've been so busy with uh, various things such as teaching, but uh, anyway, it's always amazing feeling when you get that piece of gold, and uh, there is more coming. Okay, that's a big deal. Guess what? That's my first gold of the year. Uh, I've been metal detecting. It has been a slow year. Last year was my best gold year that I ever had. And uh, this year, it's been nothing. And it's March right now. So, um, that's a big deal. Let's go. Yeah, the beach was hot. And uh, I was getting even little pieces of silver and gold and such in history. Uh, those are the days that you just love uh, treasure hunting. Another chain. This is copper. I'm going to leave this for somebody else. I'm just having a good day. <laughs> so somebody else will enjoy that one. Another watch band. Wow. Right before you... Is that... No. No, it's not. No, that's not. How about this? I got one already. Yeah, okay. I don't believe it's in the back. And Adele found this epic silver uh, brooch, I guess it is, pin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she had quite a good day, too. She had to leave a little bit early. She wasn't feeling good. So this is something that uh, Zach found. We're going to leave this here for uh, somebody else, but a really interesting stuff. That's cool. Then I found a pretty incredible foreign coin, and uh, I could definitely use some help IDing this one. Um, here is a close-up of it. Yeah, this has to be a soldier coming home from war. That yeah, That's German writing. It's a German coin. Not sure the name of it. I'm sure somebody in the audience will be able to identify the exact name. Um, but 1928, I think I saw. Yeah, 1928. Um, that is pretty incredible this is exceptionally cold today i am look let's put it this way this is a place where you need concentration i'm struggling to concentrate it is so cold right now this is very rare uh that you see something like what we're seeing down there i just got it i think this is going to be a foreign coin um yeah, I could see the uh, beveling on the edges there. This is going to be a foreign coin that we just found. But as for the beach being this far down, we're talking one or two days of the year. I am lucky to be here on today, even though I'm freezing. All right, people, this is like a crossword puzzle here. These are the clues that you got. 
and not much more yes it's a coin uh, yes I need to do electrolysis on this this might be a piece of jewelry here um, I see a circle this is one that I definitely have to clean up we are back on the coin it is just a penny but you know what we found two in one spot let's look around here let's see if there's more dig around we just got a piece of old jewelry right here cool I've got a whole collection of this stuff which I'll show you in a second but zoom in there for a second you see the remains of the gilding in there these were all once gilded here's some other examples of uh dead horse bay old jewelry these are all over the surface you know of dead horse bay you know strange little objects that uh perhaps were pins or you know who knows but you very often you see the gilding that is left on them fascinating stuff all right the wind and the cold is beating me down Whew. but i'm telling you this is opportunity time so let's go okay look at what i have here oh my god <laughs> oh my god this is this is one of my favorite finds right here you know what's funny it's similar to what you found um, on the side of that uh, piece of metal. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, apparently, kids blowing horns were a thing. Yeah, that's, uh, I kind of like this <laughs> side even better. Look at that. That is, uh, that's modern art. But yeah, that's, uh, that's like a repeated image that I've seen before at Dead Horse Bay. This one's got Adele's name all over it. Oh my God, she would love this. I'm gonna narrate over this part too because of the wind, but in all of my times coming to Dead Horse Bay, this is the lowest that I had seen the beach. Stuff moves in, stuff moves out. There is a part of the beach that really you don't go lower than, and at any given year, at any given time of year, you might hit one of these days. And we're back on the coin. Yep, another penny. Wow, look at this big button here. Oh, look, the seal of the President of the United States. There we go. We got a, probably a military button right here. That is epic. Okay. Where the heck did Adele go? She's like missing the greatest Dead Horse Bay day of the year. What? Something, man, all over the surface are these small little parts that uh, I used to always look for when I first started uh, mudlarking here and it's just all over the surface right now because there's like no sand on the beach no sand on the beach uh, <laughs> this is uh, like a once in a year happening this really is this is incredible I'm frozen <laughs> But uh, having a blast. Um, yeah, but it's cold. We just found a figure. Look at that. Headless. I've been here two hours. I have barely made it down the beach. I I'm maybe like 50 yards. That's all. But this is a very unique day. Uh-oh. What do we have here? This could be another big coin <laughs> with a lot of crud on it. Wow. Yeah, we got another one to work on. I'm sorry that I don't have this uh, done. You would guess that this is a piece of silver, but I kind of chipped it in here. No, I chipped it there. And look at that. This is another one that I'm going to have to keep you posted with the cleanup. So at this point, I realized I was the last person on the beach. Uh, the documentary guy left and uh, Adele left. It was just me and this empty beach and I was frozen solid. Look at this. We have what I think is another coin. It's about nickel sized. 
Well, we'll see. What in the world is this? I'm finding the wildest stuff today. Where is, where is Adele? I'm worried about her. Look at this. It's like the Statue of Liberty. It actually might have been. That's epic. Yeah, I was pondering leaving, but I knew that this was a once in a year opportunity. I just kept pushing because the tides had not fully come in yet. And we got a mouse's fire hydrant. Look at that. Oh my God, the irony of this. And yes, I'm keeping this. It is the cold faucet turning thingy. Yes, it's cold. So I ran into Zach again. He was still there. And this must have been like my 10th piece of silver on the day. It was a chain and cleaned up. It looked like this. A day like this, I was struggling to narrow down the footage. There, there were two silver, two more silver dimes in there too. I don't even think I took pictures of them. Um, it was that kind of day. Perhaps another coin? We'll see. That's epic. And what is this? Oh, here we go. Two more coins. This is silver right here. Is this a pipe? We just got a pipe. This is what they find in London. This is my first pipe. This is like Popeye. I think I got something good. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, old pocket watch. That's epic. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I just love the way that it decayed. So I just found this too. I was so, saying that means Adele walked past it. That's what I was. Yes, that's what I was hoping you'd say. Yes, Adele missed it, which she always calls on me, uh, missing <laughs> and stuff. But uh, we just found something else. This is a metal of some sort. This is why I don't want to leave, folks. Um, you don't get days like this very often once twice a year you know I, i'm i know i'm being super fast with all of these looks like that says good luck or brooklyn no that says brooklyn there and uh you know usually i go into more detail there's just so much this was just such a day like look at the beauty of that how it decayed like i love it just like that i'm not going to clean that and this, this is another pendant, uh, religious, I believe. Yeah. Okay, this is heart-shaped. And I bet that this is actually a heart. Um, only way to know is to clean it. And that's what we'll do when we get home. So they say when this happens, it's good luck. I had already had my good luck for the day, but I just got knocked on by a bird and these are Adele's friends. These are the ones that Adele feeds, but the birds gave me this. What do we have? I know it's silver. I know it's silver. Uh, it's another rosy. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> I took it from the birds. So why do I have a feeling Adele told the birds to do that? Got a buckle here too. Man, what a day. Frozen with bird crap on me. <laughs> uh, I'm just going on, man. I just got another one of those figures. Right here with no head again. Is it? No, it's not. I saw the edge. I thought it was a ring. Nope. That did turn out to be something interesting. It's a lens. And look at this guy down here. You see that soldier? Look at that soldier. We just got a soldier. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh my God. This might be my favorite spoon I've ever found. Look at this. Don't drop it. Get in my bag. Yo, that is insane. 
now the Oppenheimer thing, you know, atomic bomb Manhattan Project thing was the find of the day. There's no doubt about that. Um, this was a pretty epic spoon though. And the most valuable thing is about to happen. This was just buy it. Oh, let's take it for hors d'oeuvres. Oh, this might be drop the mic. Look at that. What a day. What a day. No, that is not drop the mic. We got some gold. Sushi. God. What a day. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a day. And we finished it with 14k. So this was let's take a close look at this. Um this goes with the chain. It actually fits perfectly. And I think the chain was um, from an old rosary and uh, it fits the uh, Christian theme there. But I usually don't do reviews. This was just such a day. Like, let's take a look at some of the greatest stuff. Um, still, I would take this over gold. Like this is, this is American history. This is, wow, um, global history. Whatever this pin is, you know, we got buttons and I'm forgetting where some of them are. We got the spoon, chain, silver all over the place, foreign coins, big coins, good luck tokens, uh, belt buckles. Some of these didn't even make the cut. Um, this was a heck of a day. Oh yeah, and this guy. What's up, man? <laughs> what a day. So this hunt actually put me on a hot streak. So uh, we have a lot of videos that are coming out uh, after this. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Uh, come along for the fun. Join the fun club. We keep it fun here. And uh, we try to teach a little bit about metal detecting, mudlarking, treasure hunting. So I uh, hope you join the fun club. Thanks for watching, everybody.